Hey there, what's up everybody? It's Nth Dimensional coming at you with the latest news of this new patch. The Stargate Trails Blazers event is live now, so let's get right into it. We're in the patch, um, little thing here. It says, break new ground. Trailblazing Capsuleers, the Stargate Trailblazers event begins on 25th of May, running through to 1st of June, so all this week. During this event, the Empires will be working together to gather resources for the construction of the new Stargates around New Eden. This has, unfortunately, attracted attentions from the local pirate groups seeking to take on the newly mined resources for themselves, which is where you come in. There's only a limited amount of time in which to construct these gates, so the Empires need as much Capsuleer help as possible. Pick a side and support your faction by taking on either timed combat sites to defend the Empire or resources harvesting sites to assist in gathering materials. Your help will go a long way towards onlining new pathways around the universe, and you'll be well rewarded for your efforts. Make your actions leave a lasting impression on EVE Online. Help break new ground. By participating in this event, you will be rewarded with ISK and loyalty points, which can be spent in a newly revamped LP store and get some awesome new items. Awesome new items. Additionally, there will be daily rewards and challenges running through the period, so make sure you log on to EVE and do your part to support the construction efforts. So that is their little blurb about the event, but let's kind of get into the details about it. There's a form post as well that goes into a little bit more nitty gritty here. Uh, I won't go exactly over all this here. It's just a lot of words, but I will link it in the description down below. Uh, but it kind of gives you the locations of these gates and the a little bit of lore reasons why they exist. Um, and also kind of like out of character. So the... Jita to or the forge to the Genesis one says this new construction or new connection creates a shorter option for travel between Jita and Amar that includes a low sex system. Uh, and then also says after the loss of Nyarja to the Trig Collective, the chief executive panel has prioritized the creation of a new direct connection between the state and their traditional allies and trading partners in the Amar Empire. So they give you like an in world reason and also like an out of character reason about these things. Um, and again, I'll link this down below. It's a pretty neat read, so I would give it a go. Uh, next tab is we have the actual patch notes. Here we have the event will run until June 1st. The four empires are um, having capsuleers help them build the gates. However, they are building the gates. There is nothing you can do to stop these gates from being built. They are just having Capsuleers, if they want to participate and help, um, get rewards for doing so. Uh, it says the Empire Mining Expedition sites have returned with newly rebalanced rewards on new LP store. New version of these Mining Expedition sites no longer limit entry to their specific faction ships and no longer require standing levels to enter. So the previous resource wars had more limits on them. Uh, you can only use the specific faction ships and have uh, proper standing to do them. But now you can go in um, with any faction kind of ships. And then again, it tells you where these things are. It says when the new Stargate connections are completed next month. So probably at the beginning of next month, not confirmed, but just kind of what we think. A new set of monument structures will be placed at each of the new gates honoring the Capsuleers and Capsuleer corporations that participated in the most mining expeditions connected to that specific gate. So this says that participated the most in mining expeditions. So does that mean like you get enough more points, you get you to get a lot of golds, or if you just complete the missions, we're not sure, but somehow you want to do that if you want to be memorialized forever. They also didn't tell us how many Capsuleers will be immortalized, um, so we'll just have to try hard. The new event challenges are available with a reward track of new limited time mining boosters. Uh, this is pretty sad, but we'll get into that in a little bit. And new daily login gifts, gifts are available during this event with more limited time mining boosters up for grabs. Again, this is kind of sad, but we'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, there are also landmarks to denote the locations of the new star gates. So these sites, um, let's actually, let's go into the game first. So here we can look at the track. 
Um, if you've done any of the recent events, you're probably pretty familiar with these tracks. You do these things, you say collect, and then you get points and you get rewards. So what are these rewards? Well, they're mining boosters. <laughs> that uh, they, they have like 10% mining laser optimal range for a four hour duration. Woo! And it says the booster will be applied directly to your character instead of being placed in your inventory. So um, you get this. And if you are doing the combat portion and not the mining portion, then I guess you just kind of get shit out of luck. Uh, the next one is the mining blitz yield. You get 5% mining yield uh, laser bonus for four hours. Uh, and this is mining laser yield. So I don't even know if this works on um, larger mining ships. It might. I'm just not super sure. You get an agency support drop so that you can actually sell. You get a dose two. You get another agency support drop. And then you get dose threes. So uh, I personally don't really care about this track at all. Um, but the things that you need to do to complete this track are you're going to be destroying some pirates in the event sites. You're going to try and get the gold medal in the event sites, and you're going to try and mine a lot of ore in the event sites. So next, let's go on to our daily rewards. Um, can we see the track here? Oh, daily logging campaigns. Okay. So the first one you get is a um, mining expedition frigates expert system. This lets you use the mining frigate expedition or expedition frigates, which can be used in almost all of the sites. Uh, it gives you these five skills. Um, it's okay if you're a new person. Uh, I think this will help get new people into the event and not just be terrible at it. Um, but it does only last for four days. Yeah, it lasts for four days, and the entire event is seven days. So if you redeem this, it, it, it applies to your character immediately. So be careful of when you redeem it if that's something that you're actually looking to use for its benefits. Uh, and then, as you can see, there's, there's five days to claim all your gifts, and you get mining boosters. At the very end, you do get 20,000 skill points for the Alpha and Omega, Still, that's that's kind of disappointing in my in my opinion. But if you really like those boosters, go for them. They also are immediately applied boosters, so no chance of resale value there. Uh, so now let's go ahead and check out some of the sites and talk about them a little bit. Uh, let's actually go to this page now. And there are six varieties of sites. Five, my bad. There are five varieties of fight. Five varieties of sites. The limited, minor, standard, major, and critical. You need 10,000 resources for each level, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. They give you different time amounts. Um, these time amounts make not a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, it gives you 12 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then 12 minutes and 14 minutes. So kind of all over the place. Um, but... What's more important, I think, is that the max pilots allowed in these sites is going to go three, four, five, six, seven. So the harder sites are going to allow more pilots in, but also they are going to be harder. Um, I I don't know if they're going to be more efficient to do. Like there might, like you might, for efficiency sake, might want to do just a whole bunch of standards because uh, they give you the most time per resource. They give you five minutes per resource. So I guess. Um, I'm not totally sure which gonna what is gonna be the most efficient for like your ISK and your your gold meddling and whatnot. We'll have to look more into that. Uh, but another restriction on these sites is that the limited can do frigates and ventures, so very limited there. Uh, the miners include expedition frigates into that. The standards allow you to go to destroyers and cruisers. The majors allow battle cruisers and exhumers in. Um, also, standards allow mining barges in. Um, and then critical allows battleship in. So something to note here is that T2 ships are not allowed in any capacity except for the exhumer and expedition frigates. But combat, you cannot have a T2 combat ship in these sites. Um, that means no marauders, no tangus, no uh, hacks. 
Cerberuses. However, you can use faction ships. So if you're looking to do a lot of damage, you might want to go for a faction ship option. Uh, so let's talk about what you can do. <laughs> and the site's a little bit, let's look into the site's a little bit more explicitly. So we're going to go warp into one. I am in my Praxis right now, which means we can actually only get into the um, critical sites. And I will say this Praxis cannot handle um, soloing right. the combat portion of the critical. So I'll go ahead and show you how much I can take before we have to warp out. Uh, but you will need, at, I would say, at least two um, damage ships in the critical. So if you're going to go for, if you're going to do the criticals and you're going to do battleships, I would say you need two battleships at least. Um, I did see two rattlesnakes handle it pretty fine. Um, and so, okay, so when you warp into the site, you get this message. It says, mine and fill the haulers as quickly as you can. Uh, the site will detonate in 14 minutes, or it tells you however many minutes it will detonate in. Um, and it's either this number, this top number, or this bottom number. If someone already warps to the site and has started the event, the site will tell you, like, how many minutes remain. Uh, it tells you what your objective is to mine the 50,000 units. Uh, this is actually the only objective that matters. You have to complete this objective, and that's all that matters. Destroying enemy pirates just helps you complete that objective so you don't die. Um, and then protect the miners and complete objectives within 14. Okay. So another thing to note is that you on the right-hand side, they are all of the events right there. They do not show up on the anomalies. Uh, they just show up on your overview. And if you don't have proper overview settings, just add celestial beacons or something. Um, but you should probably have those on your overview. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and warp on in and see how this site treats us. I also did do in a um, expedition frigate the prospect. In a prospect, I was able to solo complete the um, standard site. That's actually aligned to the sun. Where is the sun? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, so here we start out with four battleships, four cruisers, and four frigates. And they are technically diamond rats. So we have a ship that does about 730 DPS. Uh, and taking out these ships is, is pretty difficult. Uh, and they do do some pretty serious damage to you as well. Right now, none of them are attacking us. They're attacking the uh, blue help and the orcas that you do have to protect. Um, but eventually, they'll probably switch over to me, and then we will start hurting. It looks like our friends are attacking this other mercurial. And so the idea is that like we would come in as this damaged ship, uh, and we would start just killing all these reds to help make our miners safe. We'd have a bunch of other, um, maybe six or five other miners come in here uh, and start mining away until they can fill up all of these orcas. Let's go ahead. We are armor tanked, so let's go ahead and turn on our armor repair. And you can just kind of get an idea of like how much uh, brutality we can handle. Um, something else to note is that these rocks are very specific kind of rocks. They're like empire, empire asteroids to overview. They're called Kangite. Uh, they have very little in them. So if, even if you're using a prospect, it only took me about half of one mining laser cycle to fully deplete the rock. 
So you're going to want to like manually de-cycle your mining lasers to be most efficient. Um, and then you just you just gather it up and then you put it into the Orca's fleet hanger. And then once all the Orca fleet hangers are complete, the site finishes. It gives you a um, completion grade. And then you get ISK, you get loyalty points, and you get standings. Um, and the loyalty points store... I wonder if there's a loyalty point store in here. Uh, but it's all the loyalty point store gives you is skins and apparel. That's it. Um, so you can resell those skins. I personally don't think they look the greatest. Um, but y you will get loyalty points to buy those things. So that's nice, I guess. Um, you might get pretty decent isk i was able to get solo in a standard um i completed it with a prospect in about 12 ish minutes uh and i got 5 million isk but this is group content make no mistake this is group content um so grab a group you probably could make quite a good chunk of isk uh you only have one week to do it if you want to be immortalized um you're going to have to do it a whole lot this week, <laughs> uh, but best of luck to you. And then there are eight different um, constellations. So all these events, uh, all these event sites spawn in the specific constellations. We just killed our first battleship also. Um, so you can just roam around the, each constellation and do those sites. We're actually doing pretty all right here. We're almost probably going to dip into hole pretty soon. Uh, but hopefully if we can maybe take out some of these other ships, we'll maybe be able to sustain. We are getting a decent chunk of... Actually, we're not really getting a lot of aggro right now. But we're doing okay. We are doing better than I was last time. Last time I did this, just to try and get an idea of what damage we could take, I did not succeed very long. And uh, that's about it. So, if you got any questions, feel free to give me a comment. I will do my best to answer them. I will continue learning more and more about this. Make sure you check out the uh, my Twitch every day at someone sometime between 1100 eve time and 1800 eve time i did just get my second covid shot so i'm not feeling totally great so i might not be on twitch for the next few days um but i'll probably be on there next tomorrow um yeah so any questions hit me up and i will leave a bunch of relevant links in the description thanks so much good luck on this and see ya out in space Fly Mining Aventi. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye for now.